and welcome to everyone's favorite game show. Here's your host, Mr. Game Show. Hey guys, I'm Justin. Oh, I'm Brady. And you know us both as Mr. Game Show. And today we've got a fun new game show to share with you guys. Brayden, can you explain to them the rules? I don't know what we're doing. Uh oh. Oh, oh, with the show. With the show. With the show. Oh, okay. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be playing a game called Guess Who. Now there's two categories. The first category is Edgewater staff. So all the questions we're gonna have to answer have to do with one of the staff members. We have to guess which one it is. And the second category is the Bible. So all the questions will be people from the Bible and we have to guess who it is. What are you doing? I'm helping illustrate your point. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna go first with rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Now the rules are it goes rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay? Okay, here we go. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That's two out of three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it! Oh! All right. All right, what do you want? Looking at the board, I will take Edgewater Staff for 10. For 10? You're, there's a thousand points. I'm going to go with 10. All right, let's, let's, I let's, choose 10. let's do it. All right, it looks like Edgewater staff for 10 is who is the best looking staff member? Who's the best looking person on staff? How did you like, get the easiest question? He's sitting right next to you. He most certainly is not. He most certainly is in this room to your left. It's very clear and obvious that the best looking staff member is in fact this guy. <laughs> Is there a wrong buzzer I can press? It's, it's, it's wrong. wrong. It's wrong. It's conjecture it's and wrong. it's true. Okay, let's see what the real answer is. Well, you know, I, I guess uh, age comes with beauty. A lot of age. Uh, that's a lot of beauty, I guess. A lot of age. Ooh, wow. Okay, so age. we are off to a rapid start of Justin having zero points and it's my turn. So I'm going to go with... Edgewater staff for 100. Edgewater staff for 100. Let's see what it is. I feel like I know the staff pretty well. This should be pretty easy. Broke four trailer hitches. Now, for those of you who don't know, we used to be a mobile church, which means every week we had to take these vans and trailers and go to the school where we met for church. And Justin used to drive the vans and trailers every week, but here's a little secret that's not much of a secret. Justin can't drive at all. So if you ever see Justin in a car, run for your life because he's the one who broke four trailer hitches. One hundred points for me. Your turn. Right. I'm gonna go with Bible for one hundred. Okay, let's, let's see what it is. Parted the Red Sea. Well, everyone knows the person who parted the Red Sea would obviously be someone who's familiar with the sea. Someone who spent a lot of time on boats. Someone who was a great fisherman. You could even call him a fisher of men. I'm going to say Peter. Peter, Peter Pumpkin here? Peter, Peter the Apostle. I don't think that's right. Mm. 
didn't you just teach the oh, main church? talking about the Old Testament. Yeah. yeah. Moses. He literally just taught this. The time of Moses. To your parents. So now you guys can correct them. Moses. Moses, Moses parted the Red Sea. It was Moses. My turn! I would like to go with... Bible for one. Uno. Bible for one. Okay, let's see. Bible for one. Who wrote the book of John? See, now this is a trick question because they want you to think it was John. Like, who would name a book after themselves? Clearly, it was not John. You think? No. Who do you, who do you think it was? See, it, they did this to mess with us. It was Matthew who wrote the book of John. John wrote the book of Matthew. Did you say Matthew, final answer? Yes. Okay, let's do Matthew, final answer? No. What? No. What? John wrote John. It's the, the good news according to John. Yeah. John wrote John. That makes a lot more John sense wrote than John. what I said. John wrote John. Okay. John John. That makes sense. John wrote John. That makes sense. Your turn. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go with Edgewater Staff for 1,000. Woo! That's a lot of points. Mm -hmm. A lot of points. All right, mm -hmm. let's see it. Oldest person on staff. Hmm. Hmm. We did just say age comes with beauty. Yeah, but who are we talking about? I don't remember. Do you guys remember? It's Dick, right? I think so. Say Dick Worthington? Are, are you sure it's not Josh Knox? He's pretty old. Joe, and he's pretty handsome. He is. You only get that handsome. That handsome with a lot of age. All right, Josh Knox. Josh Knox, oldest man on staff. Ooh, it, it was I Dick. told you it was Dick. Why, why'd you listen to I me? I told you. Why'd you listen to well, me? I thought we were a team. No, we're going against each other. I thought we were a team. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Not enjoying this game with you. <sighs> Not having fun anymore. Well, mom said we had to play together, so. I will go with Edgewater Staff for one. The head pastor. Not like the, the pastor on staff with the biggest head? I think that's what that means. What, what else would it mean? That's true. I don't think it could mean anything else. So, who has the biggest head? Um, does it... Ruth. I'm gonna have to go... I'm gonna have to go with... Swallowed by a whale. Swallowed like the bird swallowed? So bird fish. I don't think that's what that means. I don't think so either. No, no swallowed by a whale. There's only one story that I can think of where a person gets swallowed whole by an aquatic creature. And that's in the book of Jonah happens to a guy named Nineveh. 
wait, wait. What? Book of Jonah. It's all, it's all about. I don't think that, I... I'm good. I'm gonna go with Nineveh. Nineveh, final answer. Went to Nineveh. He went to Nineveh. He went to Nineveh. He, because it was Jonah. Jonah. Jonah got swallowed by a whale. Getting to Nineveh. Jonah got swallowed by a whale. Because God wanted him to go to Nineveh. Jonah. Jonah. Jonah got swallowed by a whale. Still zero points. Still zero. All right. What do we got left? Is there only one question left? I think so. Bible for a thousand. That's a lot of points. It's a lot of points. It's a lot of bagels. bagels. Alright, Bible for a thousand. Last question of the day. The oldest person in the Bible. Mm. Does that mean... Oldest is in who had the most age, or oldest is in who was the first person being the oldest? I think it's clearly age. I, I don't, I don't think so. I'm pretty certain. I, I don't. I just think, don't think you know who the oldest person in the Bible is. I don't. I don't think we should go with the advice of the I Midwest. think you Zero forgot his name. I'm gonna say it's not age. It's the oldest. It's, age. it's not age. It's the oldest person. It it's not the most ancient person. It doesn't specify. It's the oldest. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Come on, I won't follow his tricks. I'm going to say it was Adam. Adam. Dead wrong. It's Methuselah. Methuselah? Methuselah. Methuselah? Methuselah. Methuselah. Book of Genesis. Methuselah. Look it up. Methuselah. 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 We got a good picture of him, too. Handsome man. Handsome man. Handsome very, man. Handsome. Very old. Very old. So. Very. It old. looks like I am the winner with 101 points. Well, it was an unfair game. How was it so, unfair? Because I knew Methuselah and that should have been 1,000 points. But you didn't get the question. You could have picked that question, but you didn't. Well, because I didn't know. It right. was unfair. You didn't know any of them. It That's was, why you had zero listen, points. Woo! Listen, games that I don't win are unfair. I don't lose games. I win games or I quit them because they're unfair. I quit this game. I didn't lose. It was my choice. I guess that means I am the winner. I will take the center of the stage. Bring me my trophy, please. No, just, just grab the trophy. Just just bring the trophy to me. I understand that you quit. You have to bring me the trophy. Just, just bring me the trophy. Oh my goodness, it's right there. It's literally right below your hand. It's right there. Oh my goodness, just give me the trophy. No, 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 no! He threw my trophy. He was just gonna hit me with this thing. Well, I would like to thank my wife, Sarah, for helping me prep for this game. We studied all night and I practiced one question and it was who is the best looking and I think we're all clearly aware of who that was because I ended up holding the trophy. So thank you guys for tuning in. Can't wait to see you guys soon.